Good morning. Oh, good morning. Is this what you want? Yes. How bad do you want it? Very bad, okay. Here you go. prepped my face. I washed it in the shower using my Skin 11 cleanser and then I put my favorite serum, morning serum at the moment, the Shiseido Ultimune. Pretty damn good. I put two pumps all over my face and all over my neck. You know how it goes? I got my dressing outfit on. We are ready to go. I'm gonna spray my face first and let that just sink in a tad. I'm gonna give that like probably like a good 30 seconds, just because I still want my skin to be a little damp when I put the sunscreen on. And then I'm using this. I do like my Neutrogena. However, I think under makeup, like they both look nice, but this one just looks way better. So I'm gonna use my Maraud Perfecting Day Cream. I'm just rubbing this all into my skin, getting whatever. I don't know what I'm wearing today, but I'll probably wear a V-neck. Sorry, I keep like looking into the monitor because the monitor, I said that really weird, because my vlogs have been out of focus. So I played around with the settings and we're gonna see what they do today. Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Recovery Eye Serum, just an eye cream, you know, just to jutes up the skin there. Oh my God, what's happening? Come out. That wasn't enough. I thought I stored this upside down. Okay, here we are. I need some lip moisturizer. Any one will do. I put a lot of that on. Look how cute this packaging is. I took this from the hotel in Venice when we went to Italy on our honeymoon. It's got a little like, what is that? I don't know. A leopard? A cheetah. I don't know. Because we want this to stay all day and we're not putting layer upon layer onto our skin, I think it's important to use a long lasting makeup setting spray. Milani, it's fruit fetish, make it last. 
It smells so good. It smells like summer. And now, like, I don't know what it is. I know a lot of people feel mixed about this, but I love this foundation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a decent amount of it on my hand and let it just like sit there for a minute to like get really thin because the warmth of my body is going to warm up the foundation and make it a little less thick because this is like a thicker foundation. It's really nice though. I do really like it. And while we wait for this to warm up, the setting spray is going to sink into my skin a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to pick it up with this It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Number no. 7 brush on the bigger side for foundation. And I'm just going to pat it into the skin. I'm not going to use a lot of this, honestly. And yeah. Just pat, 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 really take my time. And the trick with this makeup routine is to take the time to apply it. Like don't rush from one product to the next. I kind of let every single product that I use in this routine kind of like melt into the skin because really we're only doing base makeup. I don't even think I'm gonna put mascara on. I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on. I just want it to be all about the skin today. Making sure to really get that hairline. Like I said, I'm really taking my time. I'm gonna bring it down the neck so you can't see the demarcation of where my foundation ends and where my skin begins. And I'm just patting it into the skin, working it into the skin. I'm just gonna give it a minute to like sink and settle. Honestly, Mike inspired me to film this makeup because last week, I don't know if I told you, but at my mom, uh, at my dad's, Memorial Mass, he said my skin all day it was like literally flawless. So I was like, you know what? I gotta let people know. So I just really took my time because I had no plans to do eyeshadow or really anything with the eyes. I am gonna do the brows though, but I just really took my time to really focus on the skin to let my skin have a moment and apparently it worked. And you know it works when your husband comments on how good your makeup looks, especially my husband, because I've trained him well, ladies. And let me say, that is the downside of telling your husband all about your hobby of makeup and asking him to be involved and asking his opinion because Mike will know. Mike will point out when the makeup's not good, he'll say, what's up with your face? It looks a little weird today. I appreciate it, but just know, you know, they know now. We've trained them to know about makeup. But it's funny because sometimes we'll be watching like Real Housewives or like some kind of reality show and Michael will say her makeup looks awful or her makeup looks great. And I really enjoy it, you know? I like that he takes, not an interest, but takes note of my hobbies. I'm gonna take the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, a very light, a light dusting. Can you see as time has gone on, this has gotten really melty. I forgot to show you before, but I'm just gonna leave it here in case we need it. I don't think we're gonna need it though. Using my Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer, I'm in the shade Cotton. I got a travel size and I'm gonna get the full size because I bought this and the Dior concealer at the same time and this one blows the Dior one out of the water. So I'm using the other side of this brush and I'm just gonna punch this, not punch it, but snap it into the skin. And I'm gonna do my under eyes last because the longer you let your concealer kind of marinate on your skin, the more coverage the concealer kind of creates. I think it does something with the air. I'm not a scientist, but I do play with makeup quite often. So, and I'm gonna put some here to like lift my mouth. And I'm gonna really get in here because your dark circles, mine are very prominent up here. Like I think sometimes when we cover up the dark circles, we don't cover up that corner and we still look like we have dark circles, but I'm pressing this into the skin and really taking my time. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray again and lightly mist. And while my skin is damp, I'm just gonna take the foundation brush and just press it into my skin and it's kind of going to make the concealer mix a little bit more with the foundation and give us a more like uniform look. And honestly, I should have took my own advice and put the concealer into the brush instead of applying it to my under eyes because they look a little chunky monkey. And that was a tip from one of my tip Tuesdays and it's a really good tip, but sometimes, you know, when you're filming and you're rushing, you kind of forget. I already started contouring. I wanted to do a dedicated shorts on this Patrick Ta 
but I'm taking the cream contour with a Real Techniques 200 brush and just sculpting out the face. Guys, I have not been in awe of a new product like this. I think since I tried my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, which it's been a minute since I tried that. That was like almost a year ago that I tried that product, but oh my God, this is like so good. And I'm just pushing it, pressing it into the skin. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And then I'll squeeze it and take what's ever left over and put it on the sides of my nose to give like the shoddiest nose contour and a little bit on the bump to bring the bump back. Now I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna go underneath that contour just to clean up underneath it. I don't know if this lighting is better for you. It's kind of better for me because I could see a little bit better, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of my face. around the contour just to like soften the edges of it with what's ever left over on my foundation brush. And I'm pretty sure last week I wore this blush. Oh my God, these blushes from Merit, the new shades in Persimmon. Oh my God. I know I've talked about it. I just need to talk about it again because they're like un... Oh, I just got foundation all over my dress. Yay. I knew that was gonna happen. The risks of leaving it on your hand are always high. I'm taking it with my crown brush and I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheeks and then pressing it into the crease like so. Oh my God, this freaking blush. It's so freaking pretty. And what's ever left over on the center of my nose. And then I'm gonna try and get this even. Look, look, look at this. Look at this freaking color. And then I take a little bit more and I focus it in the back of my cheek, just like right there. Oh, so good. Let me take this off. I need to take this off. Okay, now this is important for me. If you have textured under eyes, I'm gonna take my middle finger or your index finger or whatever finger. And I'm gonna use the warmth of my finger to take out any of the creases in Take out any of the concealer in my creases. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm like flicking you off, but I'm not really. Um, and kind of just get this to really melt into the skin and using my finger to take off any excess product as well. And the warmth of your finger is really gonna help to melt the product into your skin. And I'll show you the difference. But patting, not swiping, I'm patting. Just like really in the T-zone where I'm gonna powder. Can you see the difference between this under eye and this under eye more specifically, just because I have such textured under eyes, you should be able to see that this looks so much more natural and less cakey than this eye. I'm telling you guys, your fingers are your best tools. Can you see how much foundation that took off? And I wiped some of it off on my hand, so that's not even all of it, but you know. Laura Mercier powder, I put a hefty amount in there. Puff from Tati Beauty, just cause I feel like a puff works better. And we're gonna pick it up. And pat it in. And I'm really just setting my T-zone just cause I don't like to get shiny in here. And this usually is where my makeup moves throughout the day. So, and I'm gonna take a bit on the sides of the nose to like kind of reinforce that shoddy nose job we did. And 
And I like to add a little extra right here just because I don't like to get shiny here. And I'll let it like sit for a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna move on to my brows. So I think I'm gonna use my Gucci Brow Pencil really quickly because I don't know what's happening, but I'm taking my sweet time here and that's not good. Here's my brow pencil. Oh, here she is. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna talk you through this because I, I my brows are a mess recently um, and I have no business giving brow advice at this time, but we're gonna get there. Okay, they're not great, but they're not bad. I don't think. You know what? It is what it is. I don't care. We don't have enough time. I'm going back in with my blush brush, just with whatever is left on the brush. And then I'm gonna go in with more of the continuous setting spray. Let this sink in. And now let us, oh, I messed up. Hmm. All right, let me, I shouldn't have sprayed, so don't spray if you haven't. If you're doing this with me, sorry, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna take the bronzer and just set the contour with this. Now I'm gonna take the bronzer, I'm just gonna pat it into the skin and you're gonna see how freaking beautiful this is. brush always sheds all over me. I'm putting a little bit over the bump of my nose. I'm doing the other half of my head. Okay, now we spray. Excuse me, look at my friggin' skin. If there was any texture before, there's absolutely no texture now. Isn't that wild? It's wild. Um, when you blow dry your face, use it on a very low setting or even hit the cooling. I just think like a little bit of warmth and a little bit of air pushing it into your skin is what's making all the difference. But normally I use a cool setting with my blow dryer in the bathroom, but this one doesn't have a cool. It just has like a low. So I used the lower, a little bit less hot setting. Okay, to set my brows, I'm using my Merit Brow Gel. Just to give them a little bit more life and dimension. And then guys, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. We're gonna pick out an outfit, throw on a lip and call it a damn day because look at my skin, guys. Oh my God. Oh wait, no, I'm lying to you. I need to set it with the all day setting spray. it's been some time so I'm just going over my blush again and I'm kind of just like going over the entire face of this I don't know why this just like really works for me and then for lips today I think I'm just gonna wear this Yensa this is the super 8 vibrant silky lipstick I've never worn it before I swatched it this morning on a shorts I'll link it up here um but let's give it a try I think I like that, but I think I need a little bit of definition. So I'm gonna use, is this pillow talk? No, I want my iconic nude, which don't tell me I don't have it here. Okay, so the closest thing I have to that is Natural by NYX. Although I need to sharpen this. I think that's good. Is it though? I feel like I'm brushing. Oh shit. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. Okay, this is the finished makeup look. Let's go to the Mac and Cheese Festival. I honestly don't even think I told you guys that that's where I was going today. I'm going to meet up with my sister at a Mac and Cheese Festival. So pray I don't get Mac and Cheese all over my shirt. But this is my flawless all day makeup look. 
focusing on the base. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let's go. Here is my outfit. My makeup looks, tell me my makeup doesn't look flawless. Look at my freaking skin, but here's the outfit. Turtleneck, cardigan, some weird leather pants that Mike said don't fit me and doesn't like them. And my honestly becoming my seriously favorite go-to bag. So this is the look, a lot of gold. Um, this lip. It's fabulous. I wish I had tried this lipstick sooner. It's really comfortable, but I'm loving the fit. Let's go. Wow, my skin does look flawless though. Before Mike runs in the background naked again. Look at my skin. Look at my skin. When did we leave the house? What time is it now? Oh my god. What is eight minus six? That doesn't make any sense. Eight minus six is two. How long have I been wearing this makeup? Two and a half hours. No. Oh, where'd you put it on? When we left. Before we left. This morning? Yeah. We left at 12.30. And it's what, 8? 8.30. 8 hours. 8 hours. 8 hours. Wow, that was a lot of effort for to figure that out. My skin looks so good. What the hell? What, what wrinkles? I don't know them. Look at this forehead. Look at this. I mean, moved a little bit into my fine lines, but like, hey, not bad, not bad. I'd say not bad. Hello from Future Editing Fortune. I literally just finished editing this vlog. I apologize I only filmed for one day in this vlog. This vlog literally was just one day. I think it was last Saturday that I filmed. I plan to film more. However, I got the flu yesterday. I got my period today. I feel like total and utter crap. So I think I'm just gonna cut this vlog short here but there will be a vlog next week so stay tuned for that hopefully that one will have a little bit more content than this one but as always i just wanted to say thank you for watching and i also wanted to hear your thoughts on whether you like makeup tutorials within the vlogs or if you think i should film makeup tutorials separately like i'm thinking i might do a vlog per week and a makeup tutorial per week like a lengthier youtube one because you guys know that i upload shorts um but let me know your thoughts because i'd be interested to hear and yeah thanks again for watching make sure you subscribe and click the bell button next to it this way you get a notification every time i'm uploading a new video here on my channel but yeah i'm tired and i don't feel well and i'm gonna put my robe on i'm gonna go crawl into bed watch some sex in the city because that's what i've been doing um while ill so yeah thanks so much love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one